My name is Matt Cornellis. I'm the Chief of Staff for Mayor Manzi, and I'm here at the Robert Frost exhibit in Methuen, a new exhibit that we're opening over the weekend. The focal point of the exhibit is what we call the Robert Frost Register, and it's actually the attendance register of when Robert Frost was a teacher here in Methuen in um, 1893. Everything is written in his own hand. Um, it's names of students, it's um, the name of the school, the dates, and it's signed by Robert Frost. It actually goes on to another page, too, with another few students' names and another signature. Uh, this was recently um, rediscovered and refurbished. The city uh, was able to get a grant of over $3,000 to have the uh, book completely restored, uh, cleaned up, put a new binding, and made archival. So now it will last forever and ever. This is the first time uh, this weekend that this has ever been on public display. We've shown it before it was restored. We've shown it privately to some individuals, including uh, Robert Frost's granddaughter, who was here giving a lecture. Uh, Leslie, Leslie Lee Francis is her name. And uh, there's a picture of me with, uh, with her showing her the ledger. And she's also written a book about her, her life with Frost. Um, so we're very happy to have this display here over the weekend and then for the next several weeks on Sunday. We decided to add in more than just the book because we wanted to really show what Robert Frost's legacy was. Once he left Methuen, uh, teaching in Methuen, he went on to be a very successful farmer, writer, teacher. He won four Pulitzer Prizes for his poetry. He was unofficially the nation's first poet laureate. He was a, a major speaker at the inauguration of President John F. Kennedy, and later Kennedy awarded with him with an arts medal. Um, so there's a lot here for Robert Frost. There's a major legacy for him here in Methuen. We're very proud of it, and we want to display it, and we hope people come out and, and see what we have to offer here.